So, I have the same circuit here with the two resistors all both of them equal to 10 kilo ohm therefore, it is a unity gain inverting amplifier I have got an input and that is now in square wave in this sine wave function generator you can see I have pressed the square wave knob and therefore, it is giving out square wave it is around 26, uh, 26 kilo hertz is the frequency corresponding to this knob and now I will see what is the output you can see on the oscilloscope. you can see on the oscilloscope the, this is the input square wave where the vertical line is almost not seen because it is at the input whereas, because of the slew rate at the output there is a finite slope. So, you can see the sloping lines if I now increase the gain you will be able to see it much better you will be able to see the variation much better. So, you can see that this is not instantaneously going to high, but with a finite slope now if I calculate what is the gap here from the microsecond that I can read from here and the from the amplifier gain factor I can find out what is the amplitude here divide the amplitude by this delta t which is read from the oscilloscope you can get the slew rate and in this case if you actually take a close look at this you would find it comes to around 2 microsecond. So, this corresponds to the slew rate of the operational amplifier.